Vikingsgame.com. I'm going to tell you why the Vikings are like the Patriots. RJ Bell here at the pregame.com studios just off the Vegas Strip. We're talking NFL action, New York Giants, Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota Vikings 3-0 straight up, 3-0 against the spread. Do they keep it going? I'm thinking yes, picks on the Vikings. And here's the thinking. A lot of serious professional batters, most of them here in Las Vegas, focus on the Sabre metrics, the numbers. And in a way, if you can find a time the numbers are not telling, that they are deceiving in some way, it's a huge opportunity because so many of the pros are betting with the numbers. And if the numbers don't tell the whole story, there's going to be a mispricing. And I think we've seen with Minnesota, just like the Patriots, this is a team historically, the Patriots, that their results were always better than their stats. And why? Because of meticulousness, because of attention to detail, because of all the little things that add up in the end to wins and losses and more wins in the NFL. I think Minnesota has that. Zimmer, great. But additionally, on the assistant staff, 21 years of head coaching experience spread amongst three assistants. So you've got head coaches that are setting their ego aside, but they've got that experience. They have that expertise. We've seen it with Minnesota, how well they're doing. And I think that's one of the reasons Minnesota has been mispriced. Yeah, let's call them the Patriots North. They're doing exactly what the Patriots have done. And I can tell you, as a wise guy, I run my numbers. So you're a wise guy. Let me get that straight. Oh, I'm a wise guy. You, you won that. Yeah. Well, I'm I, not talking about your smart alecky ways. But I think two Super Contest titles, only guy ever. I'll give it to you. I won the South Point what? twice also, RJ. All right, all right. You don't have to pile on. Let's, let's get back. Let's <laughs> focus here. Uh, we've got a situation here where the wise guys look at the numbers. If, if you just crank it out and say the Patriots aren't that good, what do they do? They win and cover. Well, it's not that they're not that good. Historically, they haven't thought they were as good as they ended up being. Yes. And he, and he oh, go ahead. And they're just not that good this year either. You look, the, the yards per play. You're, that they New England again. New England. Same with the Vikings. Both of them about the same. The offense and defense looks to be about the same. It's no surprise, though. Both teams are 6-0, and and I think it continues. All they do is win. If you would have bet Brady and Belichick after the f- first Super Bowl, after now, so everyone knows, hey, this is a good team. Blindly, about 58% since against the spread. And that's a team getting a ton of public money. Very impressive. Second reason with the Vikings, I think the public's overreacting to the big name losses, right? So a quarterback, you've, you've got Bridgewater gone, Bradford's in. I think there's still a learning curve for Bradford. But even so, I I think that he's close to Bridgewater now. I think by the end of the year or even, uh, let's say, the 12th game, he's going to be better potentially than Bridgewater. Peterson, big name. One little thing people don't realize, Peterson had the best odds to win the MVP of any non-quarterback in the entire NFL. But still, though, maybe a half a point per game. That's what everyone's talking about. I'm not even sure it's worth that much, but the public's thinking no Peterson, no Bridgewater. Obviously, they see Minnesota winning, but I think they have them undervalued. And I think that's a great point with Bradford, and he's not going to improve linearly throughout the year. He just got into town. He's going to improve dramatically. A big jump on the learning curve. And then it'll level off, so we're going to see that big jump here in week three, and also that home field advantage, tremendous in that new stadium in Minnesota. I like Let's make it official. And with a big game, I think the new stadium is going to be rocking. So we're going with the Vikings. The thinking is they're better than their stats. The public is a little caught up in the big names that are gone. I don't think it matters as much as they think. We're going with the Vikings. More videos, pregame.com. 